Hello, I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler, and welcome to the Silicon Road to Chess Improvement. So chess engines have revolutionised the chess world, but to many players they remain something of a mystery. So step into the wonderful world of uh, chess engines with me. You'll learn new and fun ways of training with engines, you'll discover how I've applied these training methods over the past 10 years, and you'll see plenty of my secret training games against engines. You'll also discover the treasure trove of um, chess engine competition, specifically those of the TCEC, the Top Chess Engine Competition, where day and night chess engines confront each other at long time controls. And the games are truly fantastic, full of long-term sacrifices, uh, brilliant attacks and deep opening ideas. And in this book I've distilled some of the most sparkling examples uh, from the past seasons, and from them I've distilled opening and middle game themes that you can learn and apply in your own games. And so this book is both um, an opening and a middle game aid, and it's also a collection of the most fantastic games ever played on this planet, and perhaps some of the least known as well. So in this video, I'm going to introduce some of the heroes of this book to you. And, um, well, it's, you know, it's a big misapprehension to think that all engines play the same. I mean, the engine world is a wild, crazy place where uh, each engine has its own distinctive style. And there's always uh, you know, a group of engines that I always look forward to seeing playing. And uh, actually, in the past month, this list has, uh, has grown as some uh, new engines have really exploded into, uh, in strength. So, um, Koi Visto, uh, Berserk, Revenge, and Nemorino. Remember those names. They're the coming names in, uh, in Engine Chess. But uh, um, my all-time favorite, uh, I think it's the Morozevich of the chess engine world. That's uh, an engine called Stoflace which um, is equally capable of uh, brilliant long-term sacrifices and uh, um, catastrophic short-term blunders. Uh, you never quite know what you're going to get from it, but you're always very excited to see it. So during this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the uh, Forward Chess web app. And uh, well, I was really looking forward to seeing the Silicon Road on uh, Forward Chess, um, and I haven't been disappointed. Um, I mean, I think the ability to play through the games on a board, first of all, get an idea of the, uh, of the whole wonderful game, then dip back into the variations afterwards, I think that works beautifully. And uh, I think it's a perfect way of learning, uh, in my opinion. So let's get started with our heroes. Our first hero is Alpha Zero, the self-learning artificial intelligence algorithm developed by DeepMind, London-based uh, research company, that um, famously taught itself uh, to play chess, go and shogi at a su superhuman level. So we, of course, by we I mean Natasha Regan and I, we co-wrote uh, a fantastic book called Game Changer that explains how Alpha Zero thinks, trains and plays. And, um, well, I think that if you, uh, if you had to sum up Alpha Zero in one move, it would be this one from uh, the initial 10 games released uh, towards the end of 2017. Alpha Zero has sacrificed a piece and a pawn for, I suppose, uh, a slightly dodgy Black King and uh, Black's undeveloped queenside pieces. But, um, well, the White Queen is attacked and um, how on earth do you get at the Black position? Well, Alpha Zero's solution was queen to h1, a quite amazing move. There's actually prophylaxis against development of black's queenside pieces. If black tries to play the move knight d7, then black gets hit by g4. And after bishop takes g4, bishop e4 check, we're lining up on the h7 pawn, and bishop f5 is met by rook takes d7. Well, Stockfish Classical was Alpha Zero's opponent in that match, and, uh, well, Stockfish continued to go from strength to strength, fighting out many thrilling battles with Leela Zero, which I suppose you'd call the spiritual successor to, um, to Alpha Zero, um, based on, um, on, the, uh, uh, on the technologies, inspired by the technologies which uh, DeepMind uh, described in their scientific paper of January 2019. And um, uh, I suppose you'd say that honours were kind of shared because uh, um, Stockfish Classical beat Leela into TCEC Super Finals, those enormous matches of uh, 100 games with 50 different openings, um, um, and lost to as well. Um, 
its style was fantastic. I mean, uh, absolutely amazing tactics. Incredible defender. Struggled a little bit more um, in complex openings like, uh, for example, the Kings Indian and the French. Um, and um, Leela was normally superior to it in positional play, but it made for a very thrilling battle. Um, this is one example of it, um, the conclusion to a quite amazing attack in the uh, TCC Season 18 Super Final, Stockfish Classical against Leela Zero. Stockfish Classical had sacrificed um, two pieces to reach this, and I can tell you, um, if it hadn't been for Stockfish's evaluation, I wouldn't have known what on earth was going on. But um, Stockfish here played the incredible move Rook D6. And um, amazingly, black is actually uh, completely lost here. Um, white is threatening two things. Rook takes f6, followed by rook f8, checkmate. Yes, checkmate. And also the move c7, um, when white is threatening simply to play rook takes a6 and play c8 queen, as well as threatening rook to d8 check. So um, an absolutely amazing attack covered in, uh, in beautiful and gorgeous detail in, uh, in the book. Uh, really uh, um, an absolute classic game. Um, so, yeah, quite amazing. That was Stockfish Classical, but um, Stockfish still had a giant leap to make. And uh, that was Stockfish NNUE. Stockfish NNUE had all the calculating genius of Stockfish Classical, but it added um, a self-learned evaluation component to uh, its handcrafted evaluation. So um, not the same technology as uh, AlphaZero, but the same idea, um, an evaluation uh, function of positions that uh, it had learned by itself through self-play. And that was quite astounding. That added 100 ELO straight away onto its already stratospheric ELO and, uh, well, subsequent improvements have just uh, pushed it higher and higher and higher. And uh, I think that's really made Stockfish NNUE the, uh, the undisputed number one in the, in the past uh, three, four, three TCC seasons. So um, uh, let's give a little example of its play. Um, I'm going to move down a little bit just so uh, I can actually show all the uh, the wonderful subsequent play on the board. You can see how uh, how uh, fantastic this uh, this app is. Scroll down to uh, Stockfish NNUE, and we see the move Queen H5. Queen H5 doesn't that give a queen away? Um, well, not really sure actually. Let's have a look. What does the engine say? Minus 6.34 is what it says straight away. But then look at that. The evaluation changes incredibly quickly. And um, uh, yeah, we see that, um, that white is completely winning. Why is white uh, completely uh, winning here? Well, um, after the move G takes H5, we get rook G7 check, king E8, rook takes H7. White is a queen down, but black's pieces are so constricted that there's absolutely nothing that, uh, that black can do to stop white from queening the h-pawn. It is quite amazing. I've never seen anything like it. King d8 also shows the, uh, the power of that uh, advanced rook's pawn, which was such an alpha zero theme. And it's great to see uh, Stockfish NNUE using exactly the same themes and perhaps uh, demonstrating it in the most spectacular way I've ever seen. Rook gt7. Knight a8, rook h8 check, king c7, rook hg8. The rook's just shepherding the pawn home in this way. Rook a4, h7, rook takes h5, h8 queen. White is, is a piece down, but of course, uh, um, well, that extra piece, that's a knight on a8, isn't it? Not a great one. Um, and, uh, well, knight b6 was played, rook e8. White not even bothering to take the piece, lining up on that uh, bishop on e7. Knight c8. And then some gorgeous tactics. Takes, takes, rook e7, king b8. And not even, uh, I mean, rook e8 is also possible here, but this is even simpler. White's a piece up and completely winning. Absolutely stunning. And I mean, such a, a great example of, um, of uh, um, long-term vision there. But um, yeah, I mean, queen h1, that's alpha zero signature move. Queen h5, I think, is stockfish in NUEs. Open source Leela Zero was the strongest of the neural network engines that was inspired by the, uh, the science that DeepMind uh, released in its scientific papers. 
And um, it has been uh, undoubtedly one of the top two engines, uh, fighting out some thrilling battles with uh, with Stockfish, winning some, uh, maybe losing uh, just a few more. Um, I mean, Leela's strengths were always its opening play and uh, its positional play, with uh, its tactics and uh, its endgame play, which was, uh, well, demonstrated a rather inefficient conversion technique, um, uh, you know, just lagging behind a little bit. But, um, you know, every season, every TCC season brought uh, massive improvements. And, um, yeah, it is simply awesomely strong. But uh, Stockfish NNUE has just uh, tended to be uh, just uh, a step or two ahead. Um, this game uh, of Leela's is um, uh, also from uh, Season 18, Super Final, which it lost to Stockfish, but it did play this immortal game. And uh, the move in this position was Queen takes B4 which was um, a move that, um, uh, yeah, Stockfish had uh, had not seen coming, I can tell you. Um, and, uh, yeah, a move that uh, was absolutely stunning. What was the idea here? Well, the idea was that um, after bishop takes b4, a takes b4, um, white has got uh, just two pieces for um, a queen and how many pawns is that? That's three pawns. Uh, but white has got complete control um, over the king side and central dark squares. And after f5, knight f6, king h8, rook takes d4, followed by rook e d1 um, and knight g5, white was in complete control and won a beautiful game. Uh, so Leela Zero Immortal, this game, really, and, uh, well, covered in, uh, in great detail with, uh, in the book, and there are some beautiful mating variations that you can see. Yay, it's time for Stoflace, my favourite engine. So uh, a really amazing engine, uh, you know, really capable of some incredibly deep long-term uh, sacrifices, you know, pieces for very long-term attacks that somehow amazingly seem to work, even against the strongest engines. But, yeah, unfortunately, you're also capable of, uh, of missing a tactic or two as well. Um, but I always love uh, watching its uh, watching its games. I've been very fortunate to be able to uh, to analyze with it as well. Um, this game is against uh, Komodo Classical, um, and uh, um, it features an absolutely great idea. So um, the move is e5 in this position, and let's just uh, scroll down and see what the whole idea was. Um, well, um, after e5, uh, d takes e5. Bishop takes d4, e takes d4. The idea is that um, uh, the light squares in black's position are extremely weak. In particular, we've got a pawn on b7, a6, this queenside pawn structure. Um, and we've also got um, this uh, pawn on g6, which is in front of the, um, of, the, uh, of the black king. Now, I mean, you know, playing a move like queen e4 would be fine, all great. But Stoflace came up with something extraordinary, something that I don't think I would ever have come up with, um, which is the move rook g1. Um, and after rook c7, it played g4. And the great idea of this is that um, if you play f takes g3, then um, we've got simply queen takes g3 and the g-file has been opened, g6 is weak, we're going to be mating in double quick time. Um, but if you don't um, play uh, uh, f takes g3, then this pawn on g4 stops anything from blocking on the f5 square. So it means that after e5, queen e4, um, you're attacking the uh, the pawn on g6. Nothing can block on f5. This queen and bishop are unopposed. It's the opposite coloured bishop theme that uh, well we saw in Alpha Zero's games, and we uh, well we dedicate um, uh, a chapter in uh, in the Silicon Road to looking at all sorts of wonderful examples. Um, I mean, Stoflace actually uh, carried on by looking for h4 to h5, putting more pressure, and also playing c5 and a5, pinning down these black queenside pawns to light squares it was um K komodo was totally powerless uh, against this it's quite a stunning positional idea there are many more engines covered in this book but we'll round off this little video with komodo dragon komodo classical was very strong they added this self-learning evaluation component to komodo classical made it into komodo dragon and uh, it became awesomely strong. It's uh, the number three engine at the moment behind um, uh, Stockfish and uh, Leela, but getting ever closer. 
Um, this uh, particular game is um, a lovely one that, uh, that it played against uh, Scorpio NN, also a, a very strong neural net engine, and uh, featured the stunning, the absolutely gorgeous Knight E4. What was all that about, you ask? Well, after Knight to E4, um, D takes E4 is impossible. We'll just go Queen takes E4 and give mate on H7. So uh, black was forced to play H6. <coughs> Pardon me. We went knight f6, takes takes, queen f6, and then a5. So the knight has uh, managed to sacrifice itself for the bishop on g7, weaken the black dark squares. You play on one side of the board, and now you're playing on the other, just uh, undermining this, um, uh, this uh, um, black queenside pawn structure. Now there is a fork. But um, we take on f8, rook takes f8, takes here and there. And this isn't too obvious. I mean, white's got a pawn and a rook for two pieces. Materially, it's absolutely fine. But the problem is those knights have got no outposts whatsoever. Um, and, uh, well, the bishop hasn't got much of an active post as well. It's all about quality of the pieces. And, um, well, Komodo demonstrated in the ensuing play that uh, the quality of its pieces was uh, so much more than, uh, than Scorpio's that black had no chance. It's one of those beautiful long-term evaluation about uh, quality, long-term prospects that... Um, um, yeah, I mean, that, uh, that uh, um, engines using a, um, a self-learned evaluation function that, that they managed to do so much better than anyone else. So Komodo Dragon there, really strong engine. So those were some of the heroes uh, of our book. And, uh, well, I hope I've managed to convey, you know, my enthusiasm for engine chess, but also why I'm so enthusiastic. I mean, these are simply the best games of chess that have ever been played and nobody knows about them. So, uh, well, get ahead of your opponents and uh, dive into the wonderful world of, uh, of engine chess with me, Grandmaster Matthew Sadler, and with the Forward Chess app, which uh, I truly believe is the, the very best way of, uh, of going through this wonderful material. What are you waiting for? Just a click away.